Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Valerie, and this is The Hargett Life. I'm so excited about today's video. It's a collab with my friend Leslie over at The Farming Pastor's Wife. She does a lot of cooking, grocery hauls, try on hauls, farming stuff, ministry, and more. I'll have her channel linked in my description box below. So as soon as you get done watching this video, go check her out, show her some love, and subscribe. She is one of my most favorite YouTubers. She is so sweet, and I know you're gonna love her too. And if you're coming over from Leslie's channel, welcome. I do what's for dinner videos, grocery hauls, recipe videos, lots of desserts, and more. I'd love it if you would hit that subscribe button and become part of my YouTube family. For today's video, Leslie and I are making something with sweet potatoes. This was a hard decision for me. It was between a sweet potato cobbler or a sweet potato pound cake. So I let my husband decide on this and he chose the cobbler. But stay tuned for next week's video. I'll be making the sweet potato pound cake then. Now let's get to making this cobbler. We're gonna make this easy and we're gonna use canned yams. And these are sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes in syrup. Usually I use the 40 ounce can, but they were out at the store. So I've got this medium sized can, which is a 29 ounce can and a small can, which is a 15 ounce. It's not gonna hurt to have a few extra sweet potatoes. You'll also need one cup of flour, one cup of granulated sugar, one cup of milk, any kind of milk will do. You'll need one stick of butter, half a cup of brown sugar, and also some maple syrup, cinnamon, and vanilla. I'm gonna start out by putting my stick of butter in the baking dish here, and I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. So I'm gonna put this in the oven and let that butter melt. My butter is all melted. Now I'm gonna add in the sweet potatoes. One can down. And you want to leave them chunky, but you don't want huge chunks in them. So if you see any that's really big pieces, just try to break them up a little. This is a great dessert to make in the fall for Thanksgiving. You can make it for Christmas. I love sweet potatoes. Okay, I got most of them big chunks cut up in here. Now I'm gonna sprinkle on some brown sugar and I've got a half a cup of brown sugar. You can use more or less. We like things sweet around here. Now I'm gonna drizzle over a little maple syrup. And you just use your judgment with this. You can also use honey if you would like. Just a little. 
Now I'm gonna sprinkle on some cinnamon. You can use more or less. Now I'm gonna take the juice that I had reserved. I'm gonna get rid of about a half of a cup. I'm gonna add in a splash of vanilla to this sweet potato juice here. About a teaspoon. And then I'm just gonna pour this over those sweet potatoes. And you wanna almost cover the sweet potatoes. And you don't have to use all this. Unless you want a juicier cobbler, then you would use all of it. I'm going to stop right there. Now I'm going to start on the topping. And this cobbler is called, also called, a cup of cobbler. And it is because you use a cup of flour, a cup of sugar, and a cup of milk. I'm going to whisk this flour and sugar together first. And you don't want to over mix it, just stir it until it's combined. Kind of like with pancake batter. And it's okay if it still has lumps in it. Alright, that looks good to me. Take this batter and just pour it over the top. And make sure you do not stir this. I'm going to put it in a 350 degree preheated oven for 30 to 40 minutes. I'll let you know exactly how long it took when it's done. All right, I just took it back out of the oven. I forgot to sprinkle the top with more cinnamon. I love cinnamon. By the way, does anybody else get their face burned every time you open the preheated oven? Whew, hot. Okay, back in the oven. By the way, I'll have the full recipe topped out in my description box below. I will also try to put it at the end of my video. That way you can take a screenshot of it. My house is smelling good right now. It looks done to me. It's been in there for about 45 minutes. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. It's done and it looks delicious. I may have went a little overboard with the cinnamon. And when you make a sweet potato cobbler like this using the juice, it gives you a gooey filling and a crunchy topping. I'm about to grab me some vanilla ice cream and give it a taste. I got me some ice cream. Ooh. 
This is so good. You have got to try it. It's got the gooey filling. This has got to be my favorite type of cobbler. And it was so easy. No one's ever gonna know that you used canned sweet potatoes. You have got to try this. Mm, it's delicious. I like it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you so much, Leslie, for collabing with me on this. I'll have her channel and her sweet potato recipe video linked in my description box below. So be sure to check that out. But before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one.